sucker niggas kill me. I'm the hottest nigga in the D and always will be. Yeah. Life's a gamble every day. I gotta shake and roll. Uh -huh. Just for my niggas doing 20, trying to make the roll. What up, y'all? This your boy, Starface Media. We got your boy, Big Hurt, in here. What up, dog? Got your back, baby. Yeah, man. I want to get uh, some recap from you from this uh, URL Smack Motor City Mayhem, man. Okay. That's what's up. And see what you got up, you know, going on in Detroit as far as the music, video, all that. Right. Let's kick it. All right. So how you feel about uh, Smack, and Smack coming to the D, first of all? I think it was about time. That's the first time I say. You know what I'm saying? We always go out there in New York, you know what I'm saying? All the D cast that battle. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's been a long time coming. You know what I mean? The D get a black eye a lot of times and a bad look. You know what I mean? It's always somebody saying something negative about the D. But you know, Smack kept it 100. You know what I mean? Came on down to the D. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna get killed, Smack. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Calico. You know what I'm saying? That's like a nephew. Um, X Factor, you know what I'm saying, QP, all the niggas that battled from out the city, you know what I mean. Um, it was a good look. It was a monumental moment, you know what I'm saying. Smack finally came to the D, you know what I'm saying, and let us host it, you know what I mean. So, it was a good look. So, the first battle, let me get to the first battle. If you was dead, did you uh, get a chance to check out uh, Big Cannon versus uh, M City? Yeah, I was there, man. I saw all of them, you know. I'm playing all this battle shit, you know what I'm saying? That's where the hip hop really originated from. So I was there for every one. I was there early in the month for the 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So uh, to get to the battle, though, um, that battle was kind of humorous to a degree, man. You know what I'm saying? Start off, the city came out spitting, he was going raw. You know what I'm saying? He had a few oohs and ahs. But it's like by the time it came and finally got through, man, it was like a. It looked like uh, the teacher and the, the student, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, Just right. the way he presented his stuff was a little more polished. I think it was a little more smoother. And you know what I'm saying? MC had bars, but Big Cannon, man, he took that one, man. I got to get that win to Big Cannon, you know what I'm saying? And then the whole lose that shirt, lose that toe. Ah, yeah. That wasn't a good look, man. They all city, man. They tell you to take off a D shirt, man. They think you faking or something, you know what I mean? But shot to M City, you know what I'm saying? I'm knocking out. I think he got burned. But Big Cannon won that one. And um, I believe the next one up was uh, well, we go go to uh, Tay Rock versus Detroit's on QP. Clean QP. That's my name. Um, <coughs> That was a good battle, man, low key. You know what I'm saying? I definitely was riding with Clean flat out, you know what I'm saying? That's my nigga. Um, I think he came out swinging. Tay Rock came back, and he was swinging, came back swinging too, you know what I'm saying? I kind of underestimated Tay Rock a little bit. You know, I done seen a lot of his battles and stuff, you know what I'm saying, on the URL or whatnot, but. I mean, that battle to me was a close battle. You know, I feel like it was almost a toss up, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you say clean one, I wouldn't argue. If somebody said Tay Rock edged him or he won, I wouldn't really argue. It was a good bout. I think that was like almost a tie. You know what I'm saying? I thought clean was going to kill him, but do held his ground. You know what I'm saying? So that was a good bout. I get that like a toss up. I think that was like a tie, man. What about that uh, Young Cannon versus B Magic? Oh, man. B Magic got hit with some booty, baby. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to B Magic with St. Louis niggas, but. Yeah, man, Young Cannon, man, he came out going dumb, man. I mean, he went stupid. This might be the best performance that I've seen personally from Young Cannon. You know, I follow all them to the Chicago movement. Shout out to Big T and the whole Chicago. Um, Big Young Cannon, Big Cannon, Chicago boys going. But yeah, Cannon came with that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? For our long concern, he won easy almost, you know what I'm saying? It was at least two to one. And if somebody said all three, I would not, you know, be magic got burned, but I think all the pausing and sometimes the way he format, how he deliver it, it kind of let the crowd get a little, you know what I'm saying, take the energy out of the crowd a little bit sometimes. Young Cannon was relentless. He was like on top of him and wouldn't let up. So I get that to Young Cannon. What about that uh, Yak song, uh, JC versus Rosenberg Raw? Rosenberg Raw? Uh... I get at the JC, you know what I'm saying? 
Shout out to the Yak Town, you know what I'm saying? Hold my murder, everything, and all that. What up, though? JC came out here on his own, man, you know what I'm saying? Put on a nice performance, you know what I'm saying? He finished strong from beginning to end. That's the whole thing, too. A lot of these battles, man, cats I had one round that's good, and they slipped. I think he was consistent all three rounds. Uh, Rosenberg Raw had a couple of moments where he was having issues with somebody in the crowd or something and was going back and forth about how he respected dude while he was rapping and, you know, that kind of slowed up his momentum even though, you know, I feel what he was saying. But you got to, you know, this is just the, you in the pit, baby. You're down there in the dog fight. You got to ignore the, the, the boors and the hecklers, you know what I'm saying, and keep doing your thing. But I get that to JC. What about that, uh, that Aver versus O Red? On the A verb O Red, I was standing behind him when I was on stage then. Back to kicking my nigga Sway and you know, a couple other cats. And we I couldn't really hear everything because you know the speakers was in front of the right. people standing behind the battles. If you on stage, the speakers is like up that way. So I could hear bits and pieces, then I'm talking to niggas and all kind of shit. And it was only in one round, you know what I'm saying? They did a little one off, so I heard who's and I was on both sides, so I think it was a good battle because I did hear a few bars. So in you got to check it out. But yeah, I ain't gonna even. Be you got to check it out. I got to really sit down and watch that one myself. Some people say oh, red. I heard some people say third one, but I heard who's and I was both was going. But while they both was rapping, I was talking to niggas I ain't seen and cats who was backstage, we chopping it up. So, and it was only one round, so it was so quick. So I didn't get to really hear anything, you know what I'm saying? So I got to check that one out. What about that? Um X Factor versus Rich Dollars. First off, shout out to Rich Dollars, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jay Reed, you know what I'm saying? They all little movement. What up, though, y'all boys? You know what I'm saying? They came out representing, you know what I'm saying? With respect, representing the NY. You know what I'm saying? We about there blowing good with this man, Jay Reed, and all them boys. What up, though? But on the battle tip, X Factor came with that shit, man. I mean, this was a. Three nothing to me, easily. You know what I'm saying? You know, Rich got bars, you know what I'm saying? I've seen some of his battles, he did good. Like in the battle against Calico and a couple of battles, he could go. You know, in Young Hill, he had a few moments I liked. But in this one, I don't know what it was. He forgot his part, like two or three times. I thought it was part of his, uh, uh the performance. You know, he's gonna come with something like after he fucked up, but he did it like two or three times, and it was legit. He just had fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So that alone, that put him down instantly. You know what I'm saying? You know you can't be forgetting your your shit, man, when you up for a battle, man. So X Factor won that one three nothing, man. That was a landslide. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rich though, like I said, I know you come back strong this next battle. Big ups to J Reed, they hold a movement, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, X won that one hands down. HP, what up though? What up, X? Let's get it to the main event. Your boy, Young Calico. Versus the New Jersey cat. We all know him. He right. go by the name of Arsenal. Right. What's your take on that? Cause uh, that's that's kind of like people. There's a lot of people debating that already. And they ain't even drop yet. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been seeing other comments and stuff like that. Uh, I get that one to Calico two one. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal came with some shit though. I ain't gonna hate on the nigga, you know what I mean? I keep one honey. Uh, and Arsenal got some shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been following his bottles too, you know what I mean? But I feel like Calico edged him 2 1, especially that last round. You know what I'm saying? That was a good finishing round, the way he finished it and everything. I give it to Calico 2 1. What was um, up with that, uh, that stoppage when, uh. Oh, yeah, when he said something about shotgun shit. You know, yeah. you can't come up here doing that shit, bro. We don't really fuck with dude, nigga, disrespect the dead. And to me, I don't care if you battling or whatever. You can talk about anybody that's living. My mama, kids, me, family, or, you know, not me per se, I'm saying, but when you battling, everything goes. Accept that to me. You know, you got some niggas feel like ain't nothing off limits. That's off limits, dude. You know what I'm saying? You don't disrespect the dead, especially a nigga who got. Kids and a mom out here still mourning her son and shit on that man's name like that, you know what I'm saying? So fuck shotgun should. And like I say, you know, by him saying his name and he ain't there, niggas don't want to hear that shit. If he a gangster, all this shit he talking, he should have been here then, you know what I'm saying? To hold, hold it down for all the shit he was talking, you know what I mean? He didn't even come. So niggas ain't trying to hear his name mentioning nothing or anything. If he ain't here, just keep him out of it. 
So when he said shotgun should, I mean, that struck a nerve with Trick and all them. You know what I'm saying? I was sitting right there next to him, blowing and kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And that was like something he shouldn't have done. You know what I mean? There was already a lot of tension about what he had said before, disrespect and proof. You know what I'm saying? And you know, he shouldn't have never mentioned his name. To me, just stay on Calico, kicking about it, whatever you want with him, his people talking about whatever. He shot that shit and like that kind of stands some controversy. But I'm glad it didn't elevate to nothing real serious, but you know how I get down here for sure. Yeah. And you know, the battle kept going at the end of the day. They both did their thing, they went in there and battled. And at the end of the day, they shook hands, you know what I'm saying? Everything was peace, we kept, you know, kept them moving. But I get that one, two, one caliber. Okay, we got, we got that recap. Now, what's up with Herc, man? When we go hear some music from you out here, man, people out here fiending, man, right, for real. Man. I know, my nigga, it's been a minute. I know a lot of people wondering. I see a couple of niggas like, you still rap? I'm like, yeah, man. So this year coming up, 2012, we will be dropping a array of music. You know, Overdose will finally be dropping. The long-awaited album, this shit been uh, awaited longer than Detox, damn there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we got to hit y'all with that Overdose finally. My man, Young Devious, The Crackery, Young know, Herc in My Blood. Mixtape, you know what I'm saying? They both dropping mixtapes. And we definitely have some early, you know, maybe the first quarter to the second quarter, uh, 2012, man. You know Cause saying? I'm waiting on it as a fan. I'm I know, waiting I on it. I, I got you, baby. I got you. I know y'all been waiting. There's a lot of different things going on through these years of me putting it down together. Stuff that I can't get to explain right now. It takes so long to get into it. But you know what I'm saying? It's going down. We finally got shit the way we want, and um. Gonna happen next year, you know. I, mean? I started to pull out the end of this year, but Christmas time and all that ain't a good time when you drop people trying to get Christmas shit together, get ready for New Year. People paying more bills because gas and all that shit. So I want to, I want people to be able to get down, be able to get it in the summertime or in a warmer climate, spring maybe summer. And even that's when I want to drop it anyway. So next year, 2000, we'll open those. Got the back to the table, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What up, though? It's your man, it's Big Herb, the CEO. Got your back entertainment, baby. Representing Woodrow, Woodrow for life. That's the block. Free Jack Nutty, free my nephew Nah. Got your back entertainment. 2012 is ours, baby. Ten crack, yeah, I flip that. Yeah, yeah, I sip that. Niggas talking smack, get the mat. Where the clip at? I'ma show you what the value of a dollar means. Time for me to throw the mask on like it's Halloween.